modern buildings. Yet its past has given the state capital one of its sweetest claims to fame. The story began here at Old Government House. Pierre Robinson knows the history and has invited me to tea. Hello, I'm Michael. Hello, Michael. Pierre. So nice to see you. And what is that that you've so kindly brought me? Oh, well, this is quite a large lamington. Lamington. Strange name. Why is it so called? The naming is after Lord and Lady Lamington. Lord Lamington was the eighth governor of Old Government House here in Queensland. London-born aristocrat Lord Lamington and his wife, Lady Lamington, took up residence here in 1896. And Lord Lamington was a great cake baker, was he? No, not at all. <laughs> You would never see Lord Lamington in the kitchen. Instead, Lady and Lord Lamington hired experienced French patisserie chef, Armand Garland. And he invented the cake. We believe so. In the house, they used to have for Lady Lamington's afternoon tea receptions. And so the chef de cuisine had to be able to make something for a large number of people. It was able to be made en masse. Not Aye. because it was fast to make, but because you could make a lot of them. The earliest known recipe for the cake was published in the Queensland Country Life magazine in 1900. And National Lamington Day is celebrated every year on July the 21st. What's it made of? Uh, that's a very good question. It's a butter cake with chocolate icing and coconut on the outside. This is the Aussie cake and we do hold it in our heart. This is our iconic cake. Quite a build-up. You observe the sponge. We pop it in the mouth. Mmm. Chocolate and coconut, really good combination. It's excellent. You ought to feed it to your cricketers. It would stop them winning. <laughs> the busy street.